it worked well for two, three years, I would say, until I heard the news of Apple saying, and, and I remember this was 2018, September 28th. The day is very clear for me because I bought a lot of domain names on that day. <laughs> Apple on that day, 20, 2018, 28th September, Apple said, we are shipping the first eSIM compatible phones. That was iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, if I'm not mistaken. So these were the very first eSIM compatible phones that were being shipped by Apple. And when I saw that I, I had what you call, I'm not saying I'm an innovator, uh, but I had, I had, I guess, what you call an innovator's dilemma. And I thought, if someone comes up with Amazon for eSIMs, no one is going to buy these, you know, slightly more expensive physical SIM cards with the friction of logistics. No one is going to pay for them. People are just going to start buying eSIMs country by country. They will just download it instantly. And I knew that someone is going to come for, you know, with Amazon of eSIMs. I thought, okay, that should be me. 